All right. Why did I do that? <laughs> I ask myself that question a lot every day. Oh, yeah. Keys go in the ignition, and then the car turns on, and then you can turn the wheel, and then you can back your car out, and then you can drive, and, uh, I don't know how I've stayed alive this long, you guys. It's pretty miraculous. <laughs> Y'all should be way more proud of me than you are. Uh, <laughs> do you guys like it? Do you guys like my, my, my coffee mug? I'll show you guys in the vortex. Hold on, hold on. Let me get to the stop sign. Uh, here we go. You good? It says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. Thank you so much, Zero. Thank you so much. I feel like that's what I'm doing. Like, I finally am living up to these, like, transcendentalist ideals. <laughs> I feel like I'm realizing more and more, like, how counterculture I really am. Like, the more that I read into everything, I'm just like, wow, I don't agree with any of this, you know? <laughs> the whole thing is, like, when you argue a point, you, I mean, you have to be aware of all sides of it. You can't just, you know, I, I guess that's what I, I, I have over, like, a lot of people that are on the opposing side, which is, like, every side other than my own personal side. I explain this. I know. So, um, what was I saying? Like, arguing something that's, like, very, like, out there. Just <laughs> poke myself too thick. Um, you got like, yeah, you, you have to be aware of all sides of it and, like, why people believe the way that they do. And, you know, I've been on so many sides of these arguments, too. You know, like, I used to vote. I used to call myself a feminist. I used to say that I, I cared about American politics and shit like that. Um, but the longer that I've lived in this country and seen the things that I've seen and the longer that I've worked in restaurants and um, seeing these po policies, like, implemented you know, like Obamacare and all that. It's just like liberals have certain things right and other things wrong. I feel like conservatives have everything wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> they are really passionate though and they don't back down, which is good, you know. You need more people like that. But you need more people like that to stand up for the right thing, not <laughs> right to make all babies have to receive the punishment of life. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I, I am so, like, I am not pro-choice, you guys. Like, that's, I do not stand by the, like, feminist movement in that regard. Like, I don't even, like, I am more extreme than, like, all the feminists put together. That's a lot of extremities. No, no, no. Do not fucking roll the window down. You know, you can't do that when you're shooting a video. God fucking damn it, man. I just hate the AC. I'd much rather have, like, good old-fashioned air. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Think of me like a dog, you know? Like, you know how excited dogs get when you roll down a window? Like, that's how excited I get. I'm like that, that golden retriever that's just so happy. <laughs> Love it. It's my favorite thing that dogs do. It's like when they pant like that. Now, I used to think that that indicated that they were happy <laughs> because they look happy. You know, like dolphins look happy? Dolphins are like the angriest motherfuckers. They're like mean. But, because dolphins always look like they're smiling. 
I love that. That's so cool. I love that little sound. I've never seen a dolphin in real life, but I have seen a lot of dogs in real life. And yeah, I, I, I love that sound that they make when they pant. Like, you know, they, they're just so, they sound heavy, but they're not. They're just hot. They're really, really hot. <laughs> oh, but hopefully I'll see some dogs in my drive through tonight. Because I know I'm going to be working the window. You might not, though. You might be on front counter, which is worse. Yeah, it is worse. It's like, I'm good in drive through because, like, it's a limited amount of social interaction, you know? Just, like, limited structured interaction. <laughs> like, I just take care of people. That's all I do. And I'm good at taking care of people in a certain way. It's like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm really good at it. Dude, you're really fucking high, though. Oh my god, oh we're gonna I can't talk. That's how high I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I always have problems with my speech pattern. I'm realizing that like the longer that I do these videos, like the more that I'm really seeing like how my speech patterns are affected by my thought process. <laughs> Why are you drinking coffee, man? Like you were gonna wake the fuck out. Yeah. Here's the thing, you guys. I have a confession. I didn't document this yesterday, I think, because I was too ashamed. I smoked. I smoked some cigarettes. Like, I bought a pack of cigarettes, and I smoked, like, the whole pack of cigarettes in, like, less than a day's time. <laughs> like, I smoked half the pack the night that I bought it, and I smoked the other half, like, the following afternoon. Blessed by God, spoiled by my husband. I fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> That's what her license plate says. Anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> more reasons to smoke cigarettes, you guys. So, but, uh, I just, I really wanted to smoke. So I smoked. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I don't really need to analyze it any further than that. I think it's funny when people like try to like figure out like why was it that I, I relapsed? Like well you obviously wanted to drink <laughs> or get high or like do whatever it was that you know you've been missing. But yeah, it's like I've been thinking about smoking for a long time. Yeah, but I feel like you got it out of your system though. The thing is, though, I realize, like, I'm always going to want to smoke. And uh, I feel like, like, when I started smoking, when I turned 20, I started smoking because I was in a rehab clinic and there was, like, nothing else that I could do in there. Um, so I had to. I had to start smoking. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I... Okay, so I was doing all these, like, 12-step jokes yesterday, and, like, it made so much sense to smoke cigarettes. Like, so much fucking sense. And so that was, like, my excuse as to why I was doing it. But, like, I realized that it doesn't really do anything for me. Like, it's not, like, okay, I started smoking again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't look at it like that. I guess I just don't look at addiction the same way that other people, well... Once again, counterculture. Yeah, that's why I stopped going to meetings, because I'm, I'm too, like, anti-everything in there. <laughs> Ooh, they paved the parking lot, finally. Well, just this part of it. Well, at least they did something. This parking lot doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, yeah, because there's a fucking church where, like, the Kroger used to be. Kroger, by the way, if you don't live in the South, Kroger is, like, a, a grocery store chain. And it's really strange to, like, look over and think that it's a Kroger, but instead, it's, like, a house of God. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that they should just start, like... Like, do 
doing church services in the grocery store. I just think that'd be awesome. Eternal life on every aisle. <laughs> Salvation, salvation. Oh my God, I think that uh, Miss Tina's here. It's my favorite person here. She thinks that uh, they're trying to split us up. They don't want the, the blacks to mix with the whites. <laughs> I'm like, I'm black on the inside, though. It doesn't count. You know, my my white pigments, they don't fucking count. I'm pretty white, though, man. Like, I'm so white, like, a tanning bed doesn't do shit for me. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so it's five o five. I'm five minutes late. Not too bad. I've been a lot later than that. One time I was like five hours. Five minutes beats five hours. Pew, 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 pew. Dude, you like that sun? It's actually really cool. It makes me look like transformative. This is Christopher Nolan kind of shit right here. <laughs> you gotta think about it. I'll see y'all.